hi guys and welcome back to my channel as you guys can see the background is back to my old background but not for long i'm home um visiting family and my sister's about to have a baby and yeah so i'm doing a get ready with me and a q and a also excuse the background i forgot how living on the, the first being the first house like on the street is so annoying i literally forgot how how that used to be so bear with me if it's super um, loud in the background, I apologize. So I'm gonna be doing, like I said, a Q and A. Ooh, don't go there. A Q and A and a get ready with me. I'm gonna be answering some more of your public health questions for you guys and killing two birds with one stone because I've got some places to be and I wanna put on makeup, so. Yeah, so, what is that noise? Oh, it's a zipper, so. Like I said, I am in town and I'm visiting my mom and all that stuff. My sister's about to have her baby pretty soon. Um, super exciting, so I took off of work so I could come be here. Um, first thing I'm gonna start off with is this Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue. My skin is super, super dry right now, so I'm going to moisturize it. Oh, I literally forgot how annoying it is to live on the first, be the first house. That's why I used to film more at night instead of during the day. Also, oh, I am living for this ring light right now. Even though I really prefer natural lighting over anything. But, yeah. Anyway. So, hope you guys had a great Christmas. Currently uploading a vlog right now, but I'm at my mom's house. And I literally had no idea how slow her Wi-Fi is. Oh my god. Super slow, so... It's gonna go up a little bit later. I usually like to post it at 12, but it's probably not gonna go up to like three, honestly, so. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start answering some questions. And doing my least favorite thing, which is eyebrows. <laughs> okay, someone said, what sectors of public health has the most jobs available in the public health, as, and is public health degree the same as a restaurant inspector? Thanks. So I'll answer the first part. What sectors of public health has the most jobs? Honestly, I really don't have an answer that, to that because I really don't know exactly because public health is such a broad field. Um, you could be doing research in public health. You could be out in the field in public health. You could be clinical public health. Like there's just so many opportunities out there for people. Um, there's so many different things that people don't even know about. I don't even know about. Um, so I, don't, I wouldn't really say like there's more jobs in this and more jobs in that. Um, but mainly like I'm just starting out myself so I really couldn't answer that for you because I really don't know. But public health is such a broad field. Um, you just kind of have to figure out what you like and then go from there. I, I would say like with any job I wouldn't go with what's most popular. I would go with what is most interest to you. Um, so. And then is it the same as a restaurant inspector um i'm sure they have a job like that i don't know um that's definitely not like the only thing they do but i i don't know i do not know the answer to that restaurant inspector i think i've got i get that a lot i always get pe teacher or restaurant inspector because public health i graduated with public health education as my uh degree some schools will call it public health. Some schools will call it public health education. Mine, the degree at school was public health education. So people were like, so are you a PE teacher? I'm like, no, I don't have an education degree, like teaching wise, like schools, but I'm sure I could probably teach school, but I would have to have like an education degree, if that makes sense. Oh, this eyebrow went on pretty well. I'm using the Tartlet and Bloom palettes. My palette is so dirty, but I'm using the color Smoke Show. Is that Smoke Show? Yeah, Smoke Show is my eye, um, eyebrow filler. This is not a tutorial, by the way. I suck at tutorials. Um, okay, so someone said, I am postgraduate in chemistry from India. India.can? I opt for msc public health in uk 
please mention chance of job opportunities there. Okay. I'm in from the United States, so I don't even know like what this means. Someone's it's MSc, I'm assuming that's a master's degree in public health. Um so I'm just gonna answer that, I guess. Like, so what could you do with a master's degree? If you get a master's degree in anything, there's always like more of an opportunity um, for you to make more money and just to get a job over someone who just has a bachelor's, especially in public health. Um, but then I like to tell people like, it's not about what you know, it's who you know. Um, and that's kind of how I got my job. It's about who I knew. Um, so let that be a lesson learned. Like having a degree isn't everything. It definitely helps you like have that crutch um, and like help you stand out more from other people, but it's not like, it's not everything. I really don't believe it's everything. Like if I could go back and do it again, um, can't say I would have gone to college, <laughs> just to be honest, just because like all the debt that you, you know, you get and, or I would have gone for some, I mean, I love my degree, don't get me wrong, but like I would have thought of going to, for something that like I could really do like teaching your you're more than likely like 99% of the time you're gonna find a job at a school you know or nursing like you're gonna if you graduate from nursing school 99 out of 100 you're gonna get a 10 you know I mean you're gonna get a job you know what I mean so I would think of that so like going for I mean I'm not saying don't don't like do what you love but also be smart about it like Let's be honest, having like an art degree, probably it's gonna be kind of harder to get a job. I mean, unless you wanna be like an art teacher or something. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? But do whatever your heart desires. But just know like going to college is really, it's not, nowadays it's just not everything. I really, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't even push my children to go to, I don't I wouldn't push my children to go to college if they didn't want to. That's just me. I used to not be that way because the way I grew up, college was never an option, but times are so different now. Anyway, I hope that kind of answered your question. It's mainly cuz I don't quite understand the question. Um all right, so next question. What was the hardest class that you had in college, like as a public health major? I would say my policy class, my, my policy class, my biochemistry class, and just saying the word biochemistry gives me like the heebie-jeebies. And um, not biochemistry, biostatistics, sorry. Still gives me heebie-jeebies. And, um, my research class research methods oh my god let's just break these classes down for you so the first class i took was out of all these three was um biostats and i took it through the summertime and it was only like a four-week class so like a j-term class oh my god it was so brutal the most brutal class i've ever taken in my life uh was biostats and it was hard because it was so much mainly because it was a short class but it was just so much information and thankfully I didn't get the professor like I I took it during the summertime because the professor that took it that did it during the fall and the springtime he was like super hard he did like this method no one understood everyone failed this class like literally everyone failed this class so I was like oh my god I gotta figure this out like my friend took him and she failed this class um so Oh my god, it was scary. But anyway, so I ended up getting a really good professor. She was so nice, so helpful, like made everything really not easy, but like easier to understand. But it was still really hard. You work a lot with Excel and just kind of figuring out the functions and everything. So Excel, making graphs, figuring out data, all that stuff. Like it's really hard and a lot of information. And the homework, oh my god, I mean pages and pages and pages of homework. I'm already at 10 minutes. I mean, pages of homework. It was really brutal. But after it was over, I was, I learned a lot from the class and I end up using it a lot now. So I use it to budget. I, I use it outside of doing public health things like budgeting and just kind of understanding data in general. Like it really helped. Um, it helped in my internship. I use it in my internship. So it worked out. 
um so yeah so the next class i took policy and i took research methods my last semester and i took them at the same time and oh my god it was so hard so my policy class i had a the professor a super sweet lady um but she is a firm believer in like you have to earn your grade like you really have to earn your grade which i agree with but like not to the extent where you're like i'm set up to fail but she was really helpful like if you needed help she would definitely help you and she was very by the book as far as like everything's in the book and it was like all the quizzes everything like if you read your your assignments like you would do fine but her quizzes were like 10 minutes like I think it was 20 questions and you only have like 10 minutes to take it so but and I can't remember if it was open book or not I, I really don't remember I think I screwed this eyebrow up so bad I am so sorry if it's really loud in the back <laughs> I apologize um, but anyway so yeah the class was just so hard like it was just so much reading so many chapters every day like every class period we had so many chapters and the tests were brutally hard it we did a lot of partner work like as far as like our paper <sighs> that paper was so hard she graded so hard oh my god I think the paper was probably the hardest thing on top of the quizzes but ended up doing fine in the class moved on with life but my a policy class was probably one of the most helpful classes as far as um like work work is concerned um so i guess that helped a little bit a lot um so but half the things you learn in school like you'll always be able to refer you have to memorize it in school but you always have like something to look back on like when you get your real job so just keep that in mind i mean it's nice to know it off the top of your head but just know you don't have to know everything it's just kind of everything is always a learning process anyway so yeah brows wouldn't say they're on fleek but whatever so yeah so my research methods class that class was just horrible i mean Cool, y'all it was it was horrible I'm not gonna lie it was the hardest class I've ever taken in my life um, um, just professor wise material wise um, yeah it was just really hard and challenging my professor really smart guy but like not the best teacher um, yeah he was too smart for his own good I guess I could just say like um th that class like I, I cried I'm not gonna lie like I literally cried and then it was just really confusing we didn't really understand what he was saying or what he meant and then when we tried to ask him a question you have to ask him like you had to ask him like exactly like perfectly or he would not understand what you mean or he would understand what you mean but he would be so literal about it it's crazy anyway so yeah funny story it's not funny at the time but I was done with my research paper like almost done and somehow like my computer I don't know what happened but my computer like um deleted like most of my paper and I literally almost died like it was the day before it was due everything was perfectly done finished data done results done everything was done and it all got deleted I literally almost died like I was like I guess I'm not gonna graduate I was so upset I was so upset but I rewrote the paper and I did it really well in the paper I got I got a really good grade on the paper so but yeah that was the hardest class I've ever taken public health wise at least chemistry was pretty hard um yeah <laughs>